News for you, awesome websites without code. Now that we've gone through all the formalities with the introduction and introducing the course, let's move on to day two where we will be installing the web fonts for the website. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on chef website starting file dot muse in the course folder. So I'll double click and I'll double click on the home page. So here we are in the design view. We're not gonna do anything at the moment with the design view. Uh, we're simply gonna go to file here at the top. And then here we're gonna click on add remove web fonts. And we're gonna get the add web fonts dialog box here. So we're gonna search for the web fonts here where it says search web fonts. We're gonna type the name of the web fonts and then click the check mark to install the web font. So we have here in the web fonts we have typekit edge web fonts and self-hosted. We're gonna be installing type kit fonts mostly. Um, so the first font is Montserrat. So in the search for web fonts, I'm gonna type in M-O-N-T-S. And then we notice here in type kit, there's no web font. Uh, so we're gonna to go to edge web fonts. So we, yeah, we'll be using type kit and edge web fonts. So I'll just click the check mark there, the blue check mark. And then I'll go back in here and I'll type in Roboto. And then for this one, I want to go to Typekit, not Edge Web Fonts, but Typekit. And in Typekit, we have Roboto here. So I want to click on Roboto. It'll say Roboto Google, and it'll have 12 different types of fonts. If you click down here, it tells you the different fonts that are included. So you have thin, thin italic, light, uh, medium, and so on. So that's the one we want to install. So let me go back into here. And uh, yeah, so click on Roboto. And then you also want to click on Roboto slab. So make sure when you click on it that this blue mark, blue check mark is checked here. And then the last one is Droid Serif. And we have it here in uh, the Typekit fonts. So I'll just click on it, make sure that blue check mark is checked. So we installed Montserrat and that was an Edge web font. And then Roboto and Roboto slab and Droid Serif are Typekit fonts. So once all of those fonts have been checked or clicked on and made sure that the blue check mark is here, you can go ahead and click on OK here. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And usually it'll tell you four web fonts have been added. I think because I've already installed it previously, I didn't get that message. But once you've installed it, it'll let you know that four web fonts have been installed. And just to test, I'll just create a text box by clicking here on the text tool and just write some text, um, you know, building a website in Adobe Muse. And I'll highlight it. I'll go to the text option here. You can either go here at the top or use the text panel here to the left. I have the text panel on the left here. So I'll click the drop down and I'll type in Roboto. And here we can see we have Roboto type kit and we have the 12 different fonts here. If I and we also have Roboto slab here as well with the four different fonts. If I type in Montserrat, we have the edge web font Montserrat here that we can use. And we have Droid Serif. And here we have Droid Serif with the four different fonts. So these are the fonts we'll be using for the website. That is it for day two, adding the web fonts for the website. Tomorrow we'll be starting with the header and footer and adding elements to the header and footer. News for you, awesome websites without code.